growing up, um, I fell into a lot of peer pressure, um, wanting to fit in, wanting to be cool, um, whatever it was to pick up the girls or to uh, look cool in front of my bros, um, really uh, led me down a path of destruction. I was going through a divorce uh, and it was hard to deal with and going through that and then plus I lost my job, missing work and I just couldn't handle the situation. And then that led to another thing, that led to losing where I lived um, and I was basically going to be out on my own and living in my car at the time. And then I turned to the alcohol because I thought that was okay at the time. My drug addiction led me to heroin. Heroin led me to homelessness and uh, despair, hopelessness. I even had to drink at work and I just drank whenever I could. Whenever I could have, get the money to, I would drink. And whatever money I did get, I would use it to drink and instead of buying food or anything else that I needed. I don't think I've ever had joy or peace in my life. I've, uh, I've struggled with some issues early on in my life, uh, alcohol and drugs, and uh, I just never seemed, uh, regardless of what I had, it was never enough, and uh, I just, I never felt joy. I had pretty much anything somebody would want. You know, I had a good job, a uh, good amount of money, nice place to live. Nothing I did made me happy, man. Uh, there was just a hole missing, like on my insides, honestly. I was just surviving, I wasn't living. Um, I took advantage of um, the closest people to me. I have been in and out of so many institutions and programs and rehabs and tried this way, my way, and the highway. Six, seven halfway houses, two rehabs. I, I even worked at a rehab as a mental health tech and ended up having to go back there as a patient. And none of them worked, so I wanted to do it God's way. And so only way I, and the only thing I knew, I needed transformation and not conformity. Once I told my sister that I was ready for help, the next day she said, all right, um, pack your bags. We're gonna go two hours away and we're gonna check this place out. And I'm like, well, well hold on, you know, I wanted help, but hold on, it's kind of fast. And she goes, no, come on. So we ended up going and um, I knew it was a place that I could go to find refuge, to find shelter, and uh, to maybe possibly clean my life up. My brother is also an alumni and he encouraged me to you know, once I got out to check it out, and that's what I did, and it changed my life. It's like a domino effect. Uh, you put God first in your life, and then everything else is going to fall into place. And it's just, and it's true. And everything else is I'm restoring relationships with my family, uh, getting back to the trust from everybody, and and giving back. Now since I graduate, I'm giving back what I've learned, and it's just, it's a blessing to do that. It's taught me how to become intimate with an intimate God, how, how to uh, surrender uh, my will to His will, uh, because what I was doing before out on the streets just wasn't working. And I realized that the only way to escape uh, that hopelessness was to um, surrender to what God wanted. It teaches you how to be, you know, a kingdom man, how to take responsibility, how to go to work every day, how to care for your brothers, how to care for your family, how to be a giver. It's about being and it's about walking in sonship. It's about having an intimacy and a relationship with God that forever changes your life and your whole disposition. I wake up happy. <laughs> uh, I feel full inside. I'm content. I have true friends, uh, people I know that know everything about me and love me just the same. Just uh, how much he loves me, I mean, and uh, the grace he uh, shows me each and every day uh, uh, as I fall short and uh, realize I fall short, uh, he just extends even more and, and uh, he just lets me know how much he loves me. He tells you who you are. And and what you are and and uh, it's in the bible says something in psalms about god sings songs of deliverance over you 
and he sure has sung over me and, and has allowed me to be his son. And, and it's just an ultimate, it's just an awesome thing that you can, you can have a relationship with your creator and have purpose and, and fulfillment and some satisfaction and, and contentment in your life. And, and you know that you're changed. And then I begin to realize that this is who I am. And this is, this is what I was built to and designed to be. I, I, I'm a, I come to the revelation that, you know what, I'm a spiritual being having human experiences. And, and that's been my experience since being in the refuge. And, and I just praise God. And it's all because of the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And, and in that is the complete, full, absolute abundance of God's pass, pack, package for salvation. And I just thank I just thank God that somehow in some way he was able to bring me to that realization and to that truth and that I can walk in it today. To him be all the glory, praise and honor. Amen.